Hi Aries, welcome to your reading and this is for Aries Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may rise in at risk the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Aries, you're going to assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's um, a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading. So Aries, if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. Subscribe to the other channel, that's Timeless the Row 111. And if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. Aries, I would appreciate if you can click the like, subscribe, and share. At sa mga kababayan ko naman, paki-like na lang din and subscribe. Um, that would mean a, a world to me. A world to me. There you go. Um, ooh, world card. I, I can see your Aries, that there's a lot of good cards here your first card is the ten of uh, cups ten of cups signifies union right signifies happiness family happy families right um, homecomings family gatherings marriage could also be a long-term relationships um, stability security there's a lot of it's all good you know I can see here that this is the time where the universe is about to give you um, what you wanted in this connection. You know what? I can see here that you might also be connecting with your soulmate, right? So things should be going very well in this, your first card, right? It represents happy and harmonious relationship. I know that for a few numbers of you, it might no it, it it might not be your i mean the energy or the the situation that you are in right now but with the world card if you are in this chaotic relationship the world card indicates right the end you know because the world card is the 21st that's the last major arcana so it's it will go back to number zero, which is your uh, the full card, the trust, right? Creation. And I can see here with the world card, right? I can sense that really marriage here, right? This is the, the time that you have been waiting for in this relationship that is about to come. There are a whole world opening to you and your partner, let's say doors will be opened, right? Um, options will be open. You may be disconnected from this person for quite a while, you know, energetic or let's say physical. You know, physical, they might be in a different city, state, county, country, continent, emotional, you're not in the same page. But this also, like what I mentioned, right? All the cards here are connected with the justice card. Like what I mentioned here, if you are, if you feel that your person is mistreating you, always making you cry, um, always giving you anxiety, worries, justice will be served, you know. This is kind of like a combination of these three is a wheel of fortune, right? Things will turn around. The kind of situation we're in let's say tables will turn right for a few numbers of you you might be 
um, in a legal battle, right? But I can see here that it will be always in your favor. I just need to put that in. Well, let's say for the, some of you, the challenge is here is that your person is connected with someone and they are in a divorce. Um, I can see here that the divorce will also um, granted. Okay, uh, you, you're gonna have your person, right? With the two of Pentacles here, probably you're juggling the connection, right? Or someone's juggling the connection. Why? Because you won't gonna go into believe what's about to happen, and you're probably losing the sense of time. Because for you, it really takes a while that you are really in a stagnant situation, and you feel like, oh, this is not ever going to happen. With the Hermit here, of course, it shows that you have been waiting for quite a while here daughter of pentacles right daughter of pentacles you're not going to experience this um, abundance in one sitting you know overnight you're going to feel the abundance gradually and you cannot get out of the person because you are connecting with your twin flames right i can see here also with the six of cups from the separation you know that you're missing each other Someone's just waiting for the right time, waiting for the ship to come in, waiting for that specific push from the uni push from the universe so that they can come, right? Um, they can return, they can approach you. You might feel that you are in a competition and you might be for quite a while here, but I can sense that again, tables will turn and it will be in your favor. Whereas the two of um, pentacles here you might be really in this situation that for of sorts you're already exhausted even though that you love the person I understand right you are deprived of things love attention time and for you oh I love you but I'm not getting what I deserve here so I would rather to repel my energy from you that's what you thought because I can see here again the energy wave claim this reading this is really for you Aries I can see here with the three of um, ones here the death card and the four of ones see if you're really separated from this person you're going to enter a new realm of love and I can see here really marriage you know being in a family life um, cohabitation um, proposal you might be connecting here with libra or has a libra placement in their chart or you have a libra placement in your chart gemini or has a gemini placement in their chart or you have a gemini placement in your chart um scorpio or has a scorpio placement in their chart or you have a scorpio placement in your chart virgo or has a virgo placement in their chart or you have a virgo placement in your chart but this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you're okay with the reading and you just have a question or two, there's a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.